Hello, hello dear Aries and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking and this is your mid-month of July reading. Okay, it's a general reading. Let's see what's going on, how the energies are playing out for you. The second part of July, as we know, the energies are going to be building. Okay, Aries. Aries, Aries. What's happening for Aries mid-month? The second part of July of 2022. Aries, please, Spirit. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node in Aries. What's going on for Aries? Okay, Aries, the High Priestess, Page of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Eight of Cups. Okay, there's some there's something pertaining to a secret success here it's it's like you're expecting some sort of a success um, now of course you could be dealing with someone that Someone that admires you. I think Aries has got a secret admirer. Now, if it's not about admiration, it's about love. Now, you could be either working with this person, You could be either working with this person or or it's just someone you know, someone that um, someone that wants to offer you something could be a romantic connection, as I said, it could be a. Uh, romantic connection or it could be related to work I do see that there is Aries is being uh, treading very carefully because you've been hurt before disappointed before I feel that like there's self-worth issues here that you could be dealing with it's either you or it's the other person that maybe they've had some sort of disappointment in the love arena or with where business is concerned but I see you sitting at a very strong position at the end of the month you're very stable and I also feel here that the person you're dealing with sees the qualities within you And I feel that you you are in tune with this. It's 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 talking to you. You're feeling it. You're subconsciously you know that there is success here. There you're going to succeed. You're going to you're going to make it. Whatever this is. Now I don't know if this is a change of direction. It could be a change of direction. But wherever you are heading to, the potential there is for success. Let's let's take some other cards and see what's going on 
in matters of love for Aries in the month I should say the second part of July we've got two cards that came out I'll take them both we have the Empress some of you are mothers and uh, obviously I don't know if this is a child of yours as well uh, that's going through this and uh, the success is I mean the success would be for both of you because you've both worked on something you know we've got the Empress here now where love is concerned there's abundance and we've got the star as well which speaks to uh, the Aquarian energy Okay, so there is a potential wish fulfillment here. There's newness here. Doing something differently, having some sort of a bright idea. Um, there could also be, some of you have been waiting for an offer forever. Uh, you feel as though this has been going on forever for uh, where romance is concerned maybe you're dealing with someone that was in another situation where they were unhappy and I feel that they've had their eye on you I, I feel that you know they see you as the perfect the perfect individual let's see what else is going on here we've got the house we've got concern and we've got message of concern so there's two cards that speak to someone having concerns that's what I feel that this four of swords is about that's why someone whether it's you or the other person someone in your life um, that is not a hundred percent and they're fearing the worst maybe you're fearing the worst The house here, yes, it could be relative to your uh, to your finances or to your emotional or your financial security. There may have been concerns there, but I feel that there is going to be a message that's going to come through that's going to give you that uh, understanding that your let's say your patience, even though you're not naturally a patient sign. Your patience is paying off. Now, there could also be some other concerns. Some other concerns about a different matter it could, uh, could also speak to anything surrounding a home or a family anything that is concerning business or the red tape or matters of law here but I think that all will be resolved in the end let's I want to see the areas uh, in which area of life which area of life is there um, is being affected for you mostly now where love is concerned we see here that there's been you've been very very patient waiting for some sort of a wish fulfillment and maybe also some sort of a message that's going to come through that's taken forever I feel as though uh, you've been bound by something whether it was timing or um, matters pertaining to thought process and worry and stress but I feel that there it's as though your hands are being like you're being uh, you're becoming free and you're able to move you don't have those blockages and I feel as though you're doubting this but Queen of Pentacles gives us a lot of financial stability uh, it gives us uh, 
the ability to know that we're very stable in a certain situation. Okay, remember the Queen of Pentacles holds that Ace of Pentacles, which is something long-term, something that is um, of material goods. It's something that gives you that sense of security, nevertheless. What, in which area? In the 11th house. So the 11th house is where um, you're being affected, these, uh, the second part of July. And it says where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. And we do see the star here as with the star card. So there is some sort of a wish fulfillment. Now, uh, this could be concerning friendships or people that you um, that you either work with or it could be a group effort. It could also speak to communication. Right, um, the 11th house is also the house of income after career, which gives you uh, a lot of security. There is some sort of a wish fulfillment in that area of life. Now, it can speak to friendships as well, uh, where there's been, I don't know, I just get the feeling that there is, could be a friendship um, that will be healed some sort of a friendship here. Let's take the Mystic Moon Oracle and see what's going on. We've got Divine Timing. We've got Patience. We've got Action. So we see um, that the messages are practically the same. Like you've had to be patient. We see here that there's been a moment of pause because of disappointment or self-doubt moving forward that you can actually succeed and as I said where you're heading to and it can also relate to the past to matters of the past where you're heading to um, and the action that you're taking moving forward is a very um, sure uh, it, it, it's like you're doing things a step at a time doing things by the book and I feel that spirit is is rewarding you for that okay even though there's self-doubt um, I feel that the action that you're taking or that someone is taking um, in relation to you is going to be very fruitful okay that's what I get here let's see what the uh, Angels, gods, and goddesses have for you. Remember the 11th house is social media. It can speak to a message coming through that you've been waiting for forever, which gives you, um, it sort of gives you that green light to move forward. And I see that you are leaving a situation that did not make you happy. So it's as though you're leaving the past. You're moving on to something much more stable, much more secure. And it's all happening in divine timing areas. You've got angel of space clearing. It is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings and move forward. Okay. So space clearing, this could be um, literal, you're cleaning out your closet, let's say, or cleaning out your space. Okay, it's also, it's also got to do with old um, disappointments pertaining to the past. It speaks to old negative thoughts and that has got a lot to do with your self-worth. Okay, so old disappointments, it's time to let them go. Your patience, it feels as though you are being rewarded here. There is something that you have stabilized, something that will give you that sense of security. And this is where you are heading to. And um, I do see a lot of abundance and receiving the harvest. Um, so feeling loved, feeling secure, feeling as though 
the, the, the wait was worth it. You could see here that you've been very patient, uh, but it does speak of divine timing. So there's lots of changes going on for you. I see you much more, I don't know, I get a sense of popularity here as well, dear Aries. Okay, let's just see where are you heading to. Many doors open. Seven of Cups speaks to many doors open. Many choices are ahead of you. Okay, dear Aries, so that's what I have for you for the second part of July. I'm wishing you well. Thank you so much. Love and light.